My name is Mike Dickinson, product specialist with Caterpillar. And today I'm excited to talk about the next generation 538 Forest Machine. So for today, let's start off with the exterior of the cab. This is a brand new forestry cab. One thing you'll notice, the door handle has been relocated for easy reach with the operator. There's a much larger entry now into the, into the cab. Safe access with grab handles on the inside of the cab, as well as an exterior grab handle when needed also. We've also added an externally lockable cab, so you can see a tab on the door here. It connects and you can padlock the cab for safety as well. You can see here, there's a tilt up left-hand console. Gives additional entry and exit space if needed. You've got a standard four-point harness, the standard equipment, and also a roof hatch and rear escape are now on the machine as well. So it's an additional third exit on the machine. The seat is heated and ventilated. It's got lumbar support and also a brand new larger cup holder and a lot of storage space in the cab as well. And a lot of leg room. There's over four inches more leg room in the cab now. It's just an overall um, more spacious uh, cab for the operator and more comfortable working environment. The new cab design includes a big improvement in visibility. So there's no more backing bars required. We've gone with an inch and a quarter or 32 millimeter polycarbonate window as standard. So a huge visibility improvement to the front and also the right front corners move to the side. The right front corners move back over two feet. So the right side visibility is a big change on the machine as well. Really good operator uh, visibility and safety as well. Everything's laid out to be forward and not have to be reaching either behind or beside while operating. So forward control, touchscreen display, soft panels here for other things like lights, your mute radio for your uh, music or audio entertainments here, as well as your wiper controls. Everything's very easily accessible. Travel speed uh, is right here. The new touchscreen monitor is a 10 inch touchscreen display. It's got excellent resolution. You've got your ability to change operator. Everything's available to look at. Here you can check different functions on the machine, your depth tank level. You've also got great access to settings on the machine here. You can show, you can en enable heavy lift mode. You've got your work light control where you can set up your work lights where you want them to be activated as well as custom operator settings. So you can go in and change your response for your spool on your hydraulics. You've got the ability to set specific operator settings if you want to. There's also the easily accessible information button on the soft panel, which can be activated to show the control panel that's currently on the machine, the work tool that's engaged, and the control pattern. So everything's very intuitive for the operator, easy to set up, and have full visibility to all your information while you're operating. Now we can look at the electrical compartment, as well as the air intake and air filter. We've got a two-stage radial air filter here, simple, easy to maintain, as well as four batteries or standard equipment. You've got easily accessible fuse panel here. Emergency shutoff switch is easily accessible from ground level as well. Cold start capability is at minus 32 Celsius or minus 25 Fahrenheit. And you've also got easy access to your battery terminals. Your positive and your negative is just adjacent here. And you'll notice throughout the machine, heavy duty wiring harnesses, uh, braided looms for wiring, just to protect the electrical system throughout the life of the machine. All the compartments, including this one, have heavy duty side doors, adjustable posts um, to keep solid the doors when the machine's operating and just protect the overall integrity of the machine and door. You can see also that there's removable screens. These wing nuts can be taken out for cleaning and just a lot of uh, service access to the machine. Now we can look at the cooling package. You'll see here, nice large cooler, side-by-side -side hydraulic cooler and engine radiator. The two AC condensers here are both for the cab and provide very good air conditioning and heating and ventilation control. The hydraulic reversing fan is standard on the machine also and keeps the cooling cores nice and clean. They're nine and a half fins per inch. So when the reversing fan engages, either on an automatic timer or could be manually engaged by the operator, It'll purge the debris and give a good uh, clean out system for the air. Top AC condenser also swings out for service in behind. Ether canisters here and the cold weather start package. You also have your visibility here to your hydraulic oil cooler, engine radiator, and there's also a ground level site visibility to your coolant level as well here. 
and you've also got an easily accessible negative terminal post there, as well as your master switch or night switch for the machine electrical. Looking at the new counterweight now, this brand new counterweight design has additional tail swing, so it adds to the stability of the machine and also carries additional fuel capacity. It's over double the previous fuel capacity of the previous design. It's got 990 liters of fuel on board, or 260 gallons. The fuel tank uh, fill location is easily accessed from the catwalk here, which goes full length to the back of the machine. And the def tank is sized to be refilled when the fuel tank is refilled. Um, just an easy thing to top up whenever needed at the same time the fueling is done. You'll also see an integrated counterweight rear view camera. That counterweight camera is recessed into the counterweight for protection. It also has a light above it, which lights up the work area as well as the camera display. You can see the underhouse in the machine is guarded and has collared bolt protectors. The ground clearance is increased by over four inches on the machine, so 30 inches of ground clearance. That's great for travel capability and maneuverability. That combined with the travel performance, we have over 10% more travel performance on the machine, increased travel speed combined with high draw bar final drives as well as the longer undercarriage gives this machine great maneuverability as well. On the travel motor covers, recessed bolt, bolts uh, for protection as well and combined with the full length track guiding guards on the inside and outside of the tracks. The undercarriage on the 538 Next Gen uses 8 inch pitch 330 cat undercarriage links and they use positive pin retention, so PPR3. We have a new sprocket, 21 tooth sprocket that's been updated for improved wear and durability. The carrier roller stands have been raised two inches. They're also um, a box section design now to give more durability and stability and also optional scraper rollers for the uh, carrier rollers to uh, help with debris management as well. We also have three inches more track length We've got a 48 section track now versus the previous 47 sections. And you've also got here the reinforced idler yoke. You can see this box section on here keeps everything together with heavy duty recoil springs and hydro bar final drives. That's important to reduce anything in the frame of the, tr of the track frame and the idler yoke to keep everything rigid and uh, stable over time as well. Looking at the hydraulic compartment now, you can see here the layout for the hydraulic pump, filters, engine oil filter, fuel filters are easily accessible. You've got your engine oil filter, your primary and secondary fuel filter, as well as fuel water separator. You've got your quick drain system here, which allows you to drain easily and safely the engine oil and hydraulic oil, as well as refill from a safe location. You've also got accessibility to your engine oil dipstick here. The new hydraulic pump is an electroproportional pump and it matches up with the EH control valve, so electrohydraulic control valve. It gives very precise control of the hydraulics and very efficient hydraulic control as well. There's no pilot filter on the machine now, so there is no pilot filter to replace since we're in an EH control system. We've also got extended fuel filter intervals, so the fuel filters are at a thousand hour change interval now and the hydraulic return filter is at 3000 hours and the diesel particulate filter doesn't require any servicing or cleaning through the life of the engine. The engine hood on the next gen 538 has been redesigned. It's a flat engine hood, so that prov provides really good debris shedding. has a strut to hold open and get access to your C7.1 engine. This has got an uh, increase in horsepower. It's a 174 horsepower engine now. It's a tier 4 final engine. It's got common rail fuel injection. Paired with the new hydraulic pump, has 10% more flow. The engine uses a single fixed geometry turbo, simple and reliable operation, and is paired with the CAD emissions module, totally passive regeneration system, no operator intervention required. The emissions will um, regenerate uh, automatically uh, during the work cycle. It does not affect uh, production or performance of the machine. The visibility improvement from the right front corner guard change is significant come back about two feet so the right side visibility for the operator is much improved you can see right through the right side of the cab the boom lift cylinders have extended rods so the boom position can be elevated quite well and move everything up out of the way for uh, really good sight lines 
safe and efficient work area. One great new feature on the machine is LED lighting upgrades. This now has, as you can see, six LED lights on the, on the roof of the cab. There's also two on the stick uh, there, just underneath the processor stick. And as we looked around the machine, you could see them as well all around. Uh, very strong lighting packages available. The 538 Next Gen replaces the previous 538 model and is part of the 500 series purpose-built logging machines at CAT. The 538 is the first machine to go to the new Next Gen platform. And the other models like the 568 will follow suit shortly as well as the 558 and 548.